When you think about smartness, you probably think about Einstein and his equations, Da Vinci and his paintings, or Elon Musk and his electric cars and self-landing rockets. However, in the last decade, with the growth of AI and technology in general, buildings have become digitally connected. One building goes a step further. It's allowed access to your personal information, it connects to your phone when you're asleep at home, and even tracks and analyzes every step you take inside the building. A phone app is your passport to the edge, a 40,000 square meter office space in Amsterdam. Once inside, you find your colleague's location on the app and work somewhere. You can even use this app to order your food or order ingredients to make your very own. Arriving at the edge in your car is automatic. The garage door reads your license plate through a well-placed camera and opens automatically. Amsterdam is known for the large amount of people using bicycles, so there's a separate garage for this. Well-placed LED lights brighten and dim as you enter and exit the garages. Once inside the building, special custom-made super-efficient LED lights brighten everything. These lights carry such a small amount of electricity that they can be powered using the same cables used to carry data for the internet. LED panels are packed with over 28,000 sensors in total, tracking light, temperature, humidity, motion and infrared. Employees say they particularly enjoy changing the temperature around them via the app. However, if they don't wish to do this, then the app will suggest desk locations based on their AI-generated preferences. Panels between each floor let stale air out into the gigantic 15-storey atrium, where it rises and exits the building through the roof, which creates a loop of natural ventilation. These slight heat variations make the inside of the building feel like the outside due to this clever architecture. The atrium floods the building with daylight and provides a sound buffer from the nearby motorway and train tracks. 2,500 employees inhabit the office every day. However, there's only desk space for 1,000. So where do the other 1,500 people go? Well, this concept is called hot desking and aims to encourage new relationships. Instead of standard desks, there's many single chairs with a lamp used for phone calls and contemplation. There's also plenty of other spaces to sit or stand when meeting or working. Because there's no desks, lockers are where you start and end your day. Employers are discouraged from using the same locker day after day to help break the rigidity of people's thinking. There are also various game rooms and coffee bars with espresso machines that remember how you like your coffee exactly. There are also various flat screen TVs around the edge that connect wirelessly to your laptop or phone. The edge collects many gigabytes of data on how people interact inside the building. It tracks and remembers everything you do, from energy use to coffee machines needing to be refilled to days you likely won't turn up to work. It even shuts down entire sections of the building for when people are unlikely to use it, which saves lighting, cooling, heating and cleaning costs. The building even watches you in the bathroom to let cleaners know when they should be required. But the Edge is one of the most sustainable buildings in the world, with a BREAM score of over 98%. BREAM is the standard way of assessing how sustainable a building is. Less than 1% of buildings have a BREAM score of 85% and over. 98% is almost unheard of. The roof and southern wall of the building are absolutely plastered in solar panels, allowing for massive amounts of electricity generation on site. Solar panels were installed onto some adjacent university buildings, meaning that the edge in total actually generates more electricity than it uses. Thick concrete helps to regulate internal heat, and deeply recessed windows mean that external shading simply isn't needed. And despite all of this, the edge generates 70% less electricity than a typical office building of the same size. A large concrete box in the rear of the building collects rainwater to flush toilets and flower plants in the garden. Outside the building, there's a public terrace that supports birds, bats, bees and bugs through the plant and tree choices, and homes designed specifically for these animals. And finally, this smart building has a literal robot 
No, that's not a joke. That helps patrol the grounds. A camera on the front of the robot lets security know if somebody isn't meant to be inside the building. These little robots are also responsible for cleaning the building at the end of the day. So, the edge. Is it manipulative? Is it intrusive? Or is it simply an inevitability that all buildings will be like this in the future? Personally, I feel it's the latter. The world runs on money, and with the increased efficiency, there's simply too many savings to be made. Not to mention the many various environmental benefits that comes along with it. However, it's the cost savings that will make smart buildings like this today a part of everyday life in just a few decades time. If you like this video, like, subscribe for weekly videos, and I'll see you in the next one.